أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم ربي أعوذ بك من همزات الشياطين وأعوذ بك رب أن يحضرون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسباس الخناس الذي يوسفس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الظالم آمين يا معين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ما خالقنا ورازقنا ومولانا من الشاكرين الشاهدين بقلب سليم my valuable brothers and sisters, as we all know, in the religion Islam, ilim, or what we call knowledge, plays an important, a significant role in our lives and also in the students, in our talibas' lives as well because we are teaching them the ilim, the knowledge of Islam. The knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down to our Prophet to teach his ummah, to teach us. Now my dear brothers and sisters, in the ayah that I have just recited, Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, this is showing how important Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing that importance of ilm, of that knowledge. By saying to our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in the ayah, Iqra, read, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, in the name of your Rabb, in the name of your Lord, in the name of Allah, read. This is showing the importance of learning the knowledge. In another ayah, قُلْ هَلْ يَسَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Are those who know and those who do not know, are they one? Now my dear brothers and sisters, this is also showing those who know and those who do not know. For those who know, it's showing the importance and how much more valuable they are for those who do not have that knowledge and all of our talibas in our madrasas in our courses right now they are here to learn the deen to learn islam to learn quran to learn the life of rasulullah and to live as a good muslim to represent the ummah to muhammad that is what our talibas are here for now i would like to share a little story with you guys ilim is the road of Jannah. Yes, of course, Ilim is the road of Jannah. Qais bin Kasir radiallahu an explains this and says, there was one man who was coming from Medina to Sham and he came to Abu Darda radiallahu an and he said to that man, what is the reason that you came here for? Abu Darda radiallahu anhu says to that man, what's the reason you came here for? And the man says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I heard a hadith from him. And Abu Darda radiallahu anhu says, well, didn't you come for something else? And the man said, no. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu says, well, you didn't come for work or business or anything? And the man says, no, I only came here to learn that hadith. And upon saying this, Abu Darda radiallahu an, he says, I heard this from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's hadith. مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا يَلْتَمِسُ فِيهِ عِلْمًا سَهْلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ And of course, there's a, there's a whole continuation to this. But I want to really stay on topic of the importance of what I just recited. مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا يَلْتَمِسُ فِيهِ عِلْمًا سَهْلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ طَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ Whoever wants to learn ilm and goes out on that path, who steps out on that path to learn ilm, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ease their path to Jannah. I'll say it again. For those who ever wants to learn ilm and steps out on that path to go forth and learn ilm, Allah will ease that person's path to Jannah. Rasulullah is saying this in his hadith. This is showing how important and where 
ilim and where learning this knowledge is going to take us in the hereafter. A group comes to Abdullah bin Mubarak and they ask him, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you what time and when you are going to pass away and when you are going to die, what would you keep yourself busy with? And Abdullah bin Mubarak says, I would keep myself busy with ilim, with learning the knowledge, learning the deen of Islam. And they ask him again, well, isn't there another type of worship that is more that higher rank than learning ilim, than learning that knowledge? And you can be busy with that instead. And Abdullah bin Mubarak says, there is no other greater worship to Allah than learning ilim, than learning the knowledge, learning the deen of Allah. There is no other greater knowledge, there's no other greater worship than the ilim. My dear brothers and sisters, everything is pointing to the importance of learning ilim, of learning the knowledge, of learning the deen and what we believe in. And he also says, Ilim is on top of everything. Ilim is greater than everything. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave everything to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he did not ask Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to do any more. He did not force him. He did not tell him to do more. And on top of Ilim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha, أَسْتَعِذُ بِاللَّهِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمًا And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam here, this is a dua that we can also recite in our daily lives. وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمًا رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمًا O oh Allah, may you increase my ilm, may you increase my knowledge. And this is what we can also make dua as a talibah and also just as a father, a mother, a friend, a family member. Anyone can make this dua. رَبِّ زِنِّي عِلْمًا O oh Allah, may you increase my knowledge. May you increase my ilm. My dear valuable brothers and sisters, I would like to touch base on also the importance of ilm which we did but where it holds a place in Islam, our Prophet ﷺ states in a hadith that we actually teach our talibas at the very beginning. They learn many different hadiths. But one of the very first that I personally also do remember memorizing and learning as a talibah myself. The best amongst you, our Prophet ﷺ is saying, the best amongst you are those who learn the Qur'an and those who teach it. Now, Rasulullah isn't just literally stating just the Qur'an. He is talking about the ilim, the Qur'an, the fuqh that revolves around the Qur'an, the hadiths, and whoever learns the deen Islam and whoever teaches it, they are the best amongst you, amongst the ummah. Yes. Our Prophet is showing the best amongst you are those who learn the knowledge, those who learn and those who teach that knowledge. My dear brothers and sisters, in Surah Muhammad, Ayah 7, Astaghfirullah, Billahi, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Ya Yu Ladina Amanu, In Tansurullah, Yansurkum, Wa Yuthabid Akdamakum, Salahullah, Nadim. Ya Yu Ladina Amanu, all those who believe. In Tansurullaha, if you help Allah, Yansurkum, Allah will help you, we thub it and will hold your feet steady. Now, when we dive into the actual meaning of this ayah, the tafsir of this ayah, Yansurkum or in Tansurullah, if you help Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need help from humans, from the people. In fact, we seek guidance, we seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we are happy and when we are sad, we always turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, in Tansurullah, if you help Allah, the meaning is this. 
by helping Allah. If you learn the deen Islam, if you learn the ilm, and based on that hadith, if you learn, if you're part of that learning and teaching, by helping Allah, that's how you're helping, helping Allah, by learning your deen and teaching that deen. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you in this dunya, in this world we live in. And obviously in the hereafter. But we're also, by learning the deen, we're building a foundation, a very powerful, strong foundation for a hereafter and for a sustainable and well Beautiful life in this dunya as well. Ya Surkum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you. And will hold your feet steady to the ground. Now the meaning of this, the tafsir, when we dive into the like a deeper meaning of this part of the ayah, it is holding your feet steady as in we live in a time, and of course, especially during Prophet time, there were enemies, enemies of Islam, who they physically went out to war and would fight for their religion and for their belief for Islam. Now during in today's times we don't physically go out to war, but we are kind of facing we have people who are against Islam. May Allah protect all of us from all of those who are against our beautiful religion, our beautiful Islam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold our feet steady and will keep us strong against those who come against us, those who oppose us. And how are we going to do this? How are we going to stand strong and steady and firm? By learning our deen. By doing these, by following what our Rasulullah and by following his path. This will lead us to a beautiful life here as well as the hereafter. In this dunya and the hereafter. And will lead us to a direct path to be with Rasulullah and to be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why our talib is gather in our course in our madrasas and they learn the ilim they learn the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the importance of ilim and how valuable it is in Islam is clear as day it is clearly stated in the Quran we can open up the Quran al kareem and we can see it there through the ayats how important and how valuable ilim is let's not forget this dua that we can always recite every day and night as a talibah, as a hoja, as a mother, a father, family, whoever you are, you can always recite this. Rabbi zidni ilma. O oh Allah, may you increase my knowledge. My dear valuable brothers and sisters, may Allah bless all of you who are listening and bless all of us. And may Allah increase all of our knowledge, all of our students, our talibah's knowledge as well. And may Allah grant all of us the greatest in this dunya and in the hereafter. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Assalamu ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Lillahi ta'ala al-fatiha.